Good morning. Welcome to A Day in the Life. I'm gonna get some vacuums done. I recorded a video yesterday, it was like a full day of eating, but it was complete ass. So I've literally just woken up. So we're gonna get some vacuums in. I'm starting to do this every morning. So I wanna have a mad vacuum. Um, we'll get this in, we'll get some breakfast. So we just finished breakfast, um, watched some good old jam, James English, Fucking motivational as hell. So here are the macros of the meal and we start to incorporate the carbs later in the day and more focus on fat in the morning. Now I'm just going to quickly clean up this pigsty of a room. <laughs> Alright, and then you'll see the next bit. before what's the natural lighting in here like bro i'm trying to grow these legs you got the vastus medialis the rectus femoris and then the vastus lateralis three different quadricep muscles calves are looking all right ready quad stomp <laughs> boom all i did was Take a bit of hair off them. Just trimmed them down. Light, natty lighting. If I can get that, that middle rectus femoris, so the middle quadricep muscle to show, we'll be getting some mad photos looking hella handsome, you know what I mean? All right, let's get my second meal of the day in. All right, so we have to go and do some shopping. Big shopping haul, not all just for me. Uh, most of it is for, I do all the shopping for my family. So it's a big boy list. I'll take you along. Most of the stuff, my, most of my meat sauce is like a lean protein sauce. No one says shrimps as well, by the way. Like, I don't know where that came from. Honestly, it, it's ridiculous. No one, no one says shrimps, all right? Stop saying shrimps on the barbie. We call them prawns. All right, let's go. Do we have enough chicken? What's that? 1.4 kilos and some five star mints. Nice Just a small shop. Packed to the rim, some may say. Now in Australia, you gotta use, you gotta go to two different shopping shops. Essentially, if you wanna get the cheapest stuff. And you wanna save some money, you got the Aldi. So we have Aldi, Woolies, and Coles. And then you, you know, you got your casual independent food shop. Aldi is the cheapest. And that's where my family get most of my stuff from. Because most of us is the same shit, but like a lot cheaper. And you guys know, like eating 3,100 calories with a lot of meat is not cheap. So you gotta try and save as many bucks as you can. I have no idea what this angle looks like. You guys deserve a little update. Um, This video is gonna be like late to the weekly upload, but uh, relative to my time, it's probably three weeks since the last actual video. So since I last recorded a video. So what's happened is I got sick. So that was a week new program. The first week of that, I was so lethargic. I had no motivation to pick up a camera. I was just sort of trotting along on Instagram. So I've got my motivation back to start recording for you guys because it's something I really enjoy doing. Also, I don't know if I've mentioned this already, but my ankle, I did something to it again. Um, once you do a ligament in an ankle, it really, it means it's fragile. And especially because I haven't been able to fully rehab it properly. Um, still being in soccer season. So I need to get that checked out later in the week. And that means leg days at the moment, uh, leg extension, seated and lying hamstring curl, adductor machine. We might be able to start doing some calf stuff soon. If I get, once I get the physio approval, and then we'll be able to start building up the squats and the leg presses and stuff like that again. But 
new program new diet i feel amazing on the new food i'm having it's about 3100 calories as you guys will see today it's really clean lean meat sources and a lot of a lot of good micros like if you look at it it's a mixture of different carb sources got a few greens in there it just it makes me feel really good and i've got a little package that just came as i was leaving that i'll unbox when i get home all right That is always my favorite meal. It is sort of, my meals are all a bit jumped up because it is a rest day at the moment, all for today. And the workout clip that you'll see soon will be tomorrow. A little package here, and as well, here are the macros. All right, and we move on. Um, here's this little package. From, I have, just a load of vitamins. We've got some digestive enzymes, some magnesium, multivitamin, fish oils, vitamin B, some vitamin D3, and some probiotics. These are definitely not things you have to take, um, but if you want to be at your optimal, at, your, at the best you can perform, you know, make sure your body's got everything it needs. Should, could be something that you want to look at. I know it's a lot of things what the good, you know, good performance athletes do. You know, look, you look Chris Bumstead, they got all the, they got heaps of stuff they take because they want to make sure that their body's got everything that they need. So, always talk to a doctor, but anyway, we're just cooking up meal number four. We got some chicken breast, carrots, and some sweet potato. Meal number four, usually my pre-workout meal. There are all the macros. Got some chicken breast, green beans, carrot, and some sweet potato. Like I said, this is usually my pre-workout meal. So I have this, and then my post-workout meal is the meal you saw before this. And then the last meal I have is my dinner. And making sure. Get your water in, boys, all right? And yeah, you saw that full stack of vitamins. Um, I'll start taking them and keep you guys updated of how that's just like digesting and how I'm sure, or hopefully, it starts to make me feel even better than I already am. All right, let's get this meal down. Oh. So, after having a highly nutritious first half of the day yesterday, I've consequently traveled through space and time. And now I'm approximately 24 hours later, um, AKA it was a rest day. And we're gonna get into our workout after consuming my little pre-workout stack, which I will run you through. 10 grams of glutamine, nine grams of L-citrulline, creatine, five grams. 1.5 grams of l tyrosine. Infusion. Alright boys, we've got our little green mix here. Now, if it wasn't for the green fusion, I would have to like put some sort of flavouring in because otherwise it just tastes a bit, a bit shit. But it just tastes like green tea now. I usually put um some BCAAs in and I know they don't do shit, but when I was a small-minded boy, I bought some, and because it's got some like flavoring in it, some sucralose, and it's like blurry flavor, it tastes quite good with this. Definitely tastes better with it in there. Um, so that's the only reason I have that in. But we're gonna juicy. Come on, boys, a juicy. I think I'm gonna do a chest and then some leg extensions because like I've had my ankle issues. I'm gonna get there, meet up with my boy Jake, and as well, I know there's no caffeine in this, all right? And caffeine is probably one of the most researched performance enhancing pre-workout ingredients uh but in australia you can't buy pure caffeine because some bozos decided to have a lot of pure caffeine and unfortunately they overdosed uh so now it's banned anyway let's get fired up baby
so I'm back from the gym. Um, I almost forgot my last meal. Hello. The camera is talking, not you. Um, so before the next clip runs, when I sort of sum up the session in the car, last meal, dinner, is some chicken breast, potatoes, and pumpkin. And here are the macros. And let's play the next clip. I don't know what the audio is like, but I hope it's okay. Because I don't have the mic on at the moment. But wow, that was a fucking epic session. Fucking got huge boys. So what, what I did today was we did what some quads. Shut up, man. But before that, you wouldn't have seen. I did, so, I did do a decline Smith machine. Um, chest press. You didn't see that because there were these huge, huge monsters trying to lift like 300 kilos on the deadlift in front of me. So it was a bit hard and probably a bit inconsiderate to film in front of them. To use my tripod, I have to have this attachment that attaches to the camera. And I was like, oh, f I didn't, I didn't bring it, man. Like, God damn, like I've only got my sort of short, shorter tripod. It only just sits off, off the ground. And so I used that the whole time. And while I'm packing up, after I've done my posing and like, used these foam blocks to give the camera some height it's just sitting at the bottom of my bag so but anyway i got some good what i did the posing was pretty mad standing like how to get my lats out on the um ab crunch and i'm just getting better at posing i kind of want to set something up at home but you know a place where all the boys could come around hit up some epic Magic posing and shit. Yeah, so we did the decline chest press and then because my other mate was hitting legs I joined up with him at the leg extension machine and we absolutely blasted that. We did a 2x25 We did a 4x10 and then we did a 20 20 rep drop set on single leg So you do 20 reps on left 20 reps on right and it's, it was an absolute killer all RPE 10 So all to failure Last couple of videos have been absolutely popping off, been loving it. You guys have been absolutely amazing on the support, been getting great views, and Instagram's popping off almost at 10k. I kind of want to do a 10k giveaway to show my appreciation for all you guys' support because without without you guys, I'm nothing. Um, yeah, just loving doing this, got my motivation back. Catch you on the next one. Peace.